Los Angeles, California, and Cambodia. It's a 30 minute music hour. I'm Andy Moore. This is Dengue Fever.
thank you. Yeah, thank what you. A, what a thrill. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> There's, there's, I, I, I'd like to almost turn it into a talk show, but it's a music show. There's so much to, to learn about you guys. And I, I, but the story that I like is, is, or that I know a little, is how you found each other. You're from Cambodia, and the rest of you are, are from L.A. How did you guys find each other? Um, also, I was live in Long Beach, and those guys live in L.A., so close by about 30 minutes. And My brother was traveling in Cambodia when he first heard music that we were inspired by, Cambodian uh, psychedelic music from like the 60s. And when I moved from San Francisco down to LA and we started hanging out again, we we're like, what if we pulled together a band based around that body of music? And so we started going down to Long Beach and going to the nightclubs in Long Beach, the Cambodian nightclubs, and we saw Nimal singing and we asked her if she wanted to join our band. And you said... Yes. No way. No way. <laughs> no way I'm thinking. <laughs> Her sister didn't trust us at all. Uh, what was behind that? Um, so, <laughs> I remember... Why, why didn't she trust us? Right now? No, your, your, your sister. Your sister. <laughs> in the beginning. Oh, okay. And I think the first we met each other, and so my sister sees Zach have a big beer. <laughs> yeah. and, and also, we never speak with the... Uh, people they they would know, mm -hmm. and also those mm -hmm. American. Yeah, so you can't <laughs> trust those Americans. Where your mom lives, she lives in this in Long Beach, which is a really heavy Cambodian community. So so it's like you hang out in Long Beach. It's like it's, there's not a ton of mixing between like you know like the kind of the Western kind of the local you know the people that were raised in the states and the Cambodian community. <laughs> So basically, when these guys came around, it was kind of like, wait a minute, who are these jokers coming? <laughs> How long ago was that? Like five years ago. What does your sister think of these guys now? Uh, yeah, we went to Cambodia together. Yeah, she was right. there too. Right. She loves us. <laughs> she sings yeah. with us. Well, yeah, she sings with us. We're all a big family now. Well, there is a, a tremendous film um, that we will hope to share with our audience sometime that actually followed the band um, back well, to Cambodia. First time for you guys, right? Um, yeah. I actually been to Cambodia in 1995. So it was the second time going to Cambodia, but first time ever playing music there. Well, briefly, talk about uh, your experience taking your sound um, to back to your home, but also where you decided to play live. That, that's really in interesting. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I can talk about it. It was, um, well, first of all, it was just amazing. I mean, for one, Nimal hadn't been home in five years. And so she had, you know, some, you know, some minor visa problems. And once those were fixed, we were all free to go and visit Cambodia and have an amazing time. And some of the stuff that happened there was incredibly touching. Like we, uh, we hooked up with some traditional uh, master musicians, you know, kind of more fo Cambodian folk music. And then we kind of, you know, set up our instruments and we all played together. And it was, you know, it's in the film of us recording and hanging out. We well, worked with children too. Yeah, also in the Tonle Basak district, which is a um, very poor neighborhood in Phnom Penh. Um, they have an organization called Cambodia Living Arts where they're teaching the kids, you know, all the traditional dance and, you know, kind of keeping the whole, just the spirit and the Cambodian culture completely alive through the arts. So we met up with these kids in this, in this classroom and we rehearsed and we played a show in Tony Basak in that neighborhood mm. and it was pretty amazing. It's a long way yeah. from L.A. Yeah, it was just, I mean, Tell the us stage was, yeah. was just all car lights and it was just, you know, it was, it was generators. Just, yeah, generators, car lights yeah. and just like, it's, it was really cool. Tell us about the next song and, and uh, play a couple, and, and uh, I'll, I'll come back just a little bit. Let's see. Oh, the next song is uh, New Year's Eve.
you. These incredible sounds are on Dengue Fever's new record, Venus on Earth. Incredible sounds, and, and they yeah, had nice shot, Nate. You see if I can reflect it. Yeah. Whoa! Look at the power. Uh, and I, I don't want to yak through any more music. We, we, need, we need a couple more songs. But, but Zach or Sinan, would you uh, just introduce everyone quickly? And oh, then... Okay. This is Zach Holtzman on guitar. Hello. Chomni Mall, lead vocals. Yeah, um, my name is Chomni Mall. I'm a singer. Yeah, um, this is Joe Cyril as a drummer. Ethan Holtzman. Hi. And David Rollicky. All right. Zach. All right. Dengue Fever. Venus on Earth. And we have time for two more songs. So cool. thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
I'm 